It's a beautiful day today. Let's talk about real numbers. Grade 10, Chapter 1, Mathematics. Hello and welcome to Isaac Kids. Let's start falling in love with math with Isaac Kids. In this chapter, first is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. It states that every composite number can be factorized as a product of primes. And this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur. For example, 105 can be written as 3 into 5 into 7. Now these are the only factors that can represent 105. Only the order can change and not the prime factors. Let's see some of the applications of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Consider a number 4 raised to the power n, where n is a natural number. Check whether there is any value of n for which 4 raised to the power n ends with the digit 0. Let's first make prime factors for 4 raised to the power n. It would be 2 raised to the power 2n. Hence, the only prime in the factorization of 4 raised to the power n is 2. Now, for a number to end with 0, it should be divisible by 5. That is, 5 should be a prime factor of that number, right? But, uniqueness of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic guarantees that there are no other primes in the factorization of 4 raised to the power n other than 2. And hence, there is no natural number n for which 4 raised to the power n ends with the digit 0. Interesting, right? Before moving on to the next application of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, let's revise what LCM and HCF is. HCF or the highest common factor of two numbers is the product of the smallest power of each common prime factor. Please note two things here. Smallest power and each common prime factor. Now LCM or least common multiple of two numbers is the product of the greatest power of each prime factor in the two numbers. Please note two things here too. Greatest power and each prime factor, not just the common one. Let's see an example now. We need to find the LCM and HCF of 6 and 20 by the prime factorization method. We have 6 equal to 2 into 3, 20 equal to 2 into 2 into 5, which is 2 raised to the power 2 into 5 raised to the power 1. Now, HCF would be the product of the smallest power of each common prime factors in the number. And the common prime factors are only 2, with the smallest power being 1. Hence, the HCF is 2. Now, LCM is the product of the greatest power of each prime factor. So, it would be 2 raised to the power 2 into 3 raised to the power 1 into 5 raised to the power 1, which is equal to 60. Thus, HCF of 6 and 20 is 2 and LCM is 60. Easy, right? Let's do one more. But before that, let me show you an interesting formula. HCF into LCM of two numbers is equal to the product of two numbers. Now let's see one more example. Find the HCF of 96 and 404 by the prime factorization method and hence find their LCM. Prime factors of 96 are 2 raised to the power 5 and 3. Prime factors of 404 are 2 raised to the power 2 and 101. Hence, their HCF is 2 raised to the power 2, which is 4. Now, LCM is the product of the numbers divided by their HCF. And hence, LCM is 96 into 404 divided by 4, which gives us 9696. Interesting, right? Let's do one more. This time with three numbers. Find the HCF and LCM of 6, 72, and 120 
using the prime factorization method. We have 6 equal to 2 into 3. 72 equal 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. And hence, 2 raised to the power 3 into 3 raised to the power 2. 120 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Or we can say 2 raised to the power 3 into 3 raised to the into 3 raised to the power 1 into 5. Here common factors are 2 and 3. 2 raised to the power 1 and 3 raised to the power 1 are the smallest powers of the common factors 2 and 3 respectively. Hence HCF is 2 raised to the power 1 into 3 raised to the power 1 which is 6. Easy right? Now let's find the LCM. Here all the prime factors involved are 2, 3 and 5. 2 raised to the power 3 and 3 raised to the power 2 and 5 raised to the power 1 are the greatest powers of the prime factors 2, 3 and 5 respectively. Hence LCM is 2 raised to the power 3 into 3 raised to the power 2 into 5 which gives us 360. Please note that in case of 3 numbers HCF into LCM is not equal to the product of the numbers. If you know the relationship between the HCF, LCM and product of three numbers, let us know in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed till now, please do as we would be coming back with more. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the notification when we upload new videos. In case you like the video, please hit the like button and let us know your feedback in the comment section below. Do check our other videos too. And be kind, work hard and achieve big. Take care. Bye-bye.